The world is ending, you guys. Are we in a recession? Is this a crash? What is going on with the housing market in Austin? I think I've got all the answers for you, so keep watching to the end to fall. Hey guys, I'm Daphne Quay, your boss, the new realtor here in Austin, Texas. And I really wanted to take a quick moment to make a video to answer a question that I feel like everybody has been asking the last few weeks. I'm at home right now and I actually just got off the phone with a client and of course they asked the same questions that everybody's been asking, which is what is going on with the housing market in Austin? Everyone's asking, are we in a buyer's market? Are we in a seller's market? Are we in a recession? Is this a crash? What's going on? Basically the world is ending you guys. I'm just kidding. I don't actually know that to be hundred percent true, but it sort of feels like it sometimes, doesn't it? Anyway. I think I've got all the answers for you, so keep watching till the end to find out. Also, if you want more information on real estate in Austin and you want to see videos of tours of really cool homes, make sure to follow me on Instagram. You can also reach me and send me a DM there. I'm actually really good about responding to direct messages. If you've been keeping up with the housing market and looking at stats, etc., I'm sure that you've seen that our housing market is cooling off significantly. I think it's happening for three main reasons. So let's just jump in and, and talk about it. Reason number one, of course, interest rates and the inflation rate are going up significantly. The higher the interest rate, the lower the buying power. I think it makes sense. Nobody wants to spend more to get the same product. So interest rates, of course, are going to affect our market. The second main point that I think is affecting the housing market in Austin proper, and I think this might be a little more of a Texas thing than maybe other markets, is the fact that our property taxes are so high. I've talked about this in other videos in the past that Texas has some of the highest property taxes in the country. And that unfortunately continues to be the case. Earlier this year in the springtime when Travis County and Williamson County and Hayes County released their property taxes, a lot of homeowners saw that their property taxes literally almost doubled, which is, it sucks. People weren't necessarily expecting it. A lot of people can't afford it. And it's a huge burden for somebody to carry. And I think for that reason, a lot of homeowners put their home on the market because they didn't want to deal with the high property taxes anymore. And that caused there to be an influx of homes. So now we've got a lot more homes than we have in a really long time. I'm going to talk about that in just a couple minutes. So keep watching. And point number three, I think straight up time of year. We are in summer in Texas and summer gets really brutally hot. Uh, also, the kids are out of school, so a lot of people are traveling, they're taking vacations, nobody wants to move in this heat. So I think historically, kind of these, these months during the summer in Austin, the market just kind of chills out a little bit, and it typically comes back in the fall. However, we haven't been in a position where interest rates have been this high before, so it'll be really interesting to see what happens in the fall and winter months. If you find my videos useful and educational, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so I see what kind of content you guys like. Also, leave comments. Let me know what questions you guys might have about the housing market, different neighborhoods, or things to do in Austin. I really enjoy connecting with you guys, and it's always great to hear feedback. Whether it's positive or not, haters are welcome too. I just really like hearing from you guys, regardless, it helps the algorithm. Let's talk a bit about our housing inventory. In early 2021, and then through the early portion of 2022, we had an all-time shortage in our housing inventory. Uh, I've been a realtor in Austin for 10 years. Throughout most of my career, we typically have about 5,500 homes on the market. I've mentioned this in other videos before, so this might just be recap information for you, but typically we'll have about 5,500 homes on the market at once. And what happened in 2021 and earlier this year in 2022, our inventory got so low that we were down to about 1,800 to 2,000 homes on the market for the entire Austin area, which is catastrophically low. And because of that, we were seeing homes selling in multiple offers. Homes were selling for way above the list price. And then we were also seeing buyers cover the difference in the appraised value, which sometimes was uh, a couple hundred thousand dollars or more. I think it's safe to say that at this point, that has pretty much stopped. 
Today, there are over 5,000 homes on the market in the Austin area. That includes suburbs, Cedar Park, Leander, Round Rock, Austin proper, Pflugerville, Buda, Kyle, San Mar I mean, I could keep going, but I think you guys get it. So the combination of the influx of homes, interest rates being high, and it just being a really hot time of year to buy a home, I think is making the market just stop. And a lot of buyers and a lot of people in general are just taking a moment to pause and see what ends up happening with our economy. It's crazy that the Fed keeps raising interest rates, yet our inflation rate seems to be going up each month. That's really weird. I'm not an economist, but of course I study economies and like what the market's doing. And that's going to be something that's going to be really important, if not critical, to keep an eye on. As you may have already figured it out, because our inventory is so much higher and a lot of people are just hanging on to buy homes, these homes that are hitting the market are staying on the market for way longer than they were earlier this year. Earlier this year, you would put a home on the market on a Thursday or Friday, and then you'd have a handful of offers, if not literally a dozen, by Sunday evening. And now what's happening is home sellers are putting their home on the market on a Thursday or Friday, and it might stay on the market for weeks, if not a couple months. On the flip side of that, if you are in the market to buy, we've been able to get home buyers, I would say pretty good deals on their homes. I've been able to get price reductions. I've been able to get closing costs covered. There's a family who we were able to negotiate some massive repairs. We were able to get a brand new AC system. I had another party where we got a brand new roof and the ball is really in the buyer's court. I think it's safe to say we have entered a buyer's market and now there is opportunity if you are looking to buy. Before I continue, I also wanna make sure that you guys have my contact information. I really work to respond to every single message that I get, unless it's super sketchy. Other than that, I really try to answer everybody. So that's it, you guys. That is all that I have on what's going on with Austin's housing market. Like I said, I am working from home today and I had a call with a client that was asking me all of these questions and I just figured, let me make a video about this because I know everyone is asking the same thing right now. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you find these videos educational or entertaining or you have questions, what have you, please make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and make sure to click the like button because it helps me know what kind of videos you guys are finding useful. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Daphne Quaid, your boss lady realtor. Till next time.